Well, guys, what is good? We are uh, we're back with a uh, another video. Of course, this is video format. Um, yes, if you didn't know, you now know. We are um, we're gonna do a training session today. Uh, last couple of videos have just been kind of like discussion videos, that stuff that I've done at home and some chit chat. So it's kind of time that we did some training again because I am a bodybuilder and you do want to see that. Um, I was gonna just give you a little brief rundown on like where we're at in terms of just like mindset physically what I've been doing in order to get to this place uh, we're now in March it's like March the Nine, I'm relying on him 11th, 11th. Uh, March the 11th yep. um, for the past two weeks I kind of had a little bit of a tidy up with my nutrition pulled the calories back a little bit um, I basically like kind of took off about half of my carbohydrate intake and left everything else the same just to give my stomach some like kind of rest from the stress because it got to a point where um, my body weight was like peaked at 310 pounds, which is the heaviest I've ever been by two pounds. Um, I held it for a few weeks and then digestion just started to go. <laughs> appetite went. <laughs> uh, everything went. <laughs> I hope the transcript comes up with that sound. When, yeah, when we got the uh, subtitles at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I, I actually... um, yeah so basically just every, the, the body just wasn't happy. Obviously, when you're trying to really consume a lot of food, you got to bear in mind like there's a system here and if you're clogging up that system and it's not able to function properly uh, then you're going to hinder uh, not only progress but also performance um, and then you can also blow out your stomach which is something that could last long term and not look very good on stage i haven't naturally got the smallest waist so it's something that i have to keep an eye on um, this was a conversation i had with jordan actually me and jordan were chatting about um, you know waist control and whatnot because jordan feels that one of the things that he messed up with you know, in his kind of career as a bodybuilder is that when he pushed his weight up, he never gave in and decided to keep pushing. And, you know, he said, Jay, like with, with this, if there's one thing I could change when I was doing it is that I would periodically do that and scale back here and then and, li and listen to my body more. Um, so that was great, like advice from Jordan uh, on that front. So that's why I said, I'm gonna probably pull my food back a bit for a while, um, just to give my body a little bit of a break from that. Um, I feel like I've got a little bit leaner from it. Uh, I've dropped a few pounds, gone down to about 302, 303. Um, I feel lighter than that, I feel a lot lighter than that. I wake up in the morning actually right now, kind of feeling really empty um, versus when I was doing that, I was feeling really like, I'd wake up in the morning bloated and feel like I've eaten a meal already. Um, so yeah, cardio still uh, 30 minutes. Well, I do 35 minutes on a bike at home at the minute. Started doing it at home, not because I don't like coming to the gym in the morning, but I found that since I've had the CPAP, uh, I've been sleeping a bit longer uh, and I don't want to have to rush to get my meals in. And obviously when I come to the gym in the mornings to do cardio, it does add a bit of time to my, uh, well, it takes off a bit of time in my day because just traveling here and back can add another half hour to hour, depending on traffic, um, to my normal day. So by getting up in the morning and doing my cardio at home on the bike, just saves me a little bit of time, a bit less stress. Um, obviously less stress is good because it means um, your body's going to play ball. Stress is the killer. Everyone, will, everyone who's good at bodybuilding or sport or anything in life will tell you the, the worst times they've had in regards to their performance, whether it's mental or physical, is probably when they're feeling stressed. So everything that I do, everything I do on a daily basis is about trying to eliminate stress. That's why I live a very simple existence. Uh, I don't go many places. I don't do random days here and there. I'm not very spontaneous. I'm quite boring. Um, but it is what it is. I, I, I do it because there's a goal and there's an objective. Um, and I've you know, spent all of my adult life <clears throat> doing this profession. Um, and I don't want to waste everything that I've done to this point um, by all of a sudden changing the formula. Because I'm, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm a happy person and I'm chilled and I have my time out. You know, I play games, you know, uh, at the minute obviously playing Elden Ring, which if you haven't got, by the way, you get it and feel the punishment. Um, but that, that's my break from this, and that's enough of it for me, because I'm, I'm, I'm in game mode. Like, the minute I wake up in the morning, all the, time, all the way to training and finishing training, and then of an evening is when I'm relaxing. So, I, I, like, even if someone's asked me to go and train at another gym, I just don't feel right doing it. I'm like, nah, I've got my, got my base, I like doing what I do. Kind of got that Dorian mentality, you know, he liked training in the gym, the same gym every day, and had that kind of, you know, the same equipment on hand, knowing the equipment, having a good relationship with the equipment, that's very important as well. Like I need to know how a bar feels. I need to know how the temperature is in the gym. I need to know the sound of the gym. Like all these things really matter. Consistency 
yeah, it's a consistency in your environment. And if your environment's one that's leading to result, then the last thing I want to do as a person is then walk away from that environment. So, yeah, um, other than that, obviously applied for the Arnold Classic UK. Have, we don't know when we hear if we've qualified to do it or get invited. But I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do it. I think they'll, they'll have me there because I think it'll be good for British bodybuilding. Should be some other really good bodybuilders like Mark Hector, Harry Harris, um, you name it, probably the usual suspects, Samson, Nathan, hopefully a return from SAS. Uh, it'd be great to have us all on stage. It's nerve wracking because they're all so good at bodybuilding and obviously every one of us wants to be number one. Um, but, you know, what an opportunity. <laughs> what an opportunity to be able to step forward and be able to not only try to be number one in the country as a bodybuilder, but also to have so many people alongside you who have exactly the same mindset as you and enjoy the same passion as you and to be in the same room. Because although we are going to win, and if we don't win, we will be annoyed for a few days, to be part of that event is quite hysterical. And I think like in years to come, when you look back and you can say, I was on stage with this, those people, you'll all be able to like sit there and reminisce and feel really good about it. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're at. So we're gonna do a back session today. Uh, training's been going really well. Um, like I said to Dan yesterday, I know that my head's getting to the point now where I'm almost ready to switch the gear up. Yeah. Like, boom. Like, I'm, I'm kind of cruising in like fourth or something at the minute. Like, I'm still lifting good, still training good. But bear in mind, we've just been doing straight sets. We haven't done no techniques, no rest pause, no muscle rounds, you know, no forced reps really for weeks now. We've been very, very basic. Very basic, just getting strong and uh, enjoying the movements. So we've got a lot to play with. Um, food's just been increased slightly this week by about a quarter. So I'm now about two thirds of the food I was eating to three quarters of the food I was eating before in regards to carbohydrates. Portion size? Yeah, yeah in, in terms of like my portion size. So the only factor I obviously changed was carbohydrates. So what I did, I split it in half initially. I've added another quarter now from the total that I used to have. Mm. Um, so I was having three crumpets in the morning and now it's four. I was having 100 grams of rice per meal, now I'm having 125. So, you, you know, I've added an extra quarter on top. So those little increments like that will be continued to made if my stomach allows it. So over the next weeks, we'll monitor that, keep an eye on how my digestion is. If it stays in a good place, then I'll, uh, yeah, Milos, the manager, come in, come in, come in. Yeah, man, of course. Yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine. This is, it's a busy working life, busy gym. We've got Lou Rolls coming in for everybody. So yeah, that's the update. Um, we'll see how things go over the next few weeks. We're done in here now. We'll let Milos have his room back. And we're going to uh, go and uh, do some back and I'll talk you through it as we do it. Should be a good session. I haven't really got nothing planned in my head, but there's kind of a structure. You know, I tend to work back in a certain way and we'll pretty much do that today. So, yeah. All right. Who would have thought bodybuilding was a maths game? Who would have thought? Who would have thought there's even any intelligence required? Meat ends, apparently. All right. Catch you in the gym. All right, we're going to start with a, um, uh, I call it a pullover variation. It doesn't start from up here, but it starts from about here. Still feels really good. Um, I've said this before, I don't think there's many good pullover machines out there. So if you haven't got a good one, this is a good alternative. So we'll do it a little bit different today. So instead of coming here today, oh, we'll pull wider today, likes to hear. Why are we doing that? Just for a change, man. See how it feels, just a little comparison. Will it hit the same part though? Yeah. Two more. A bit more interesting. One more. Oh yeah. Oh, I want us to do. So I want us to do a pull down variation with a slightly pronated grip, but with an angle probably about that. So we're just going to pull down like that. So it's natural on the wrist. Yeah, we'll just wait for this fella and then we'll jump on. We might even use my. Um... Yeah, I might grab my. Yeah, if, if, if I grab my uh, gym pin. So, reason I'm doing that angle, just so there's no. You know where it is, don't you? Yeah. So there's just no stress on the wrist as we come down. Because obviously, if you're dead straight, it doesn't quite sit right. So you could just pull naturally like that. 
Um, and then we'll go on to some supernated stuff after that. Little shout out to Jinping. Good talk. Where did you get it from? Jinping. Well, they sent it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sent me it. They're good. Check them out. Get some good bits of them. They do uh, pin extenders. So, like, if you've got hammer press machines and stuff, hack squats, or they got um, obviously attachments as well. Because I don't do a lot of overhand pull downs, and I know that I should, so this is why we're doing it. Six. Seven. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Strict, come on. Ten. Not touching. Here we go. Eleven. Down. 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 Yep. Well done. That was it. That looks horrible. Lovely set. Hello, good. Whoa. Whoa, it nice. You'll notice there's a habit of you wanting to draw back your scapula. Because yeah. obviously when you row double, what happens is this does this. Yeah. Whereas if you row single, you can brace yourself forward more and not let that shoulder roll. Is this designed to be done single arm then? Yeah, I would say so. Jordan, Jordan kind of showed everyone how to use this Because I see people on this doing two arms. You can, you can. I'm not going to rip people for doing two arms. But the, this, this, the, 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 to get the most out of this machine, you should use it to hit so uh, yeah, like unilaterally. Um, you can do double, but you're just going to get the same thing that happens as what we just said. When you see people do it, they roll back. Yeah, you kind of go like this. Yeah. Rather than, rather than this, yeah. The, 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 when we're doing this, we're going to try and keep our back kind of flat, or if anything, slightly forward. And then... And we do that bit on the side when you You can pull down a little bit, yeah. yeah. Pull down a little bit. This is, this is a bit where I thought I was saying that that is actually my machine. Yeah, bro, you might. <laughs> Do you know who bought that for me? <laughs> Sometimes you talk about, yeah, that is actually mine. Uh, Jordan bought that for me, get off. So Jordan bought me that. I only pull it in here because I've got nowhere to pull it. <laughs> I've got nowhere to store it. You would have had it in his house, but it's too big. Put it in the garden, bro, under a fucking... Put it in your garden. I just don't... Oh, hell yeah. It's pretty big. I just find it like, not no disrespect to no one, but I find it odd when like earlier we were waiting for that pull down and the guy done about seven sets. And yeah. it's like, it's just not beneficial, man. Like if you're doing seven sets, unless you're doing like a, a program block for something where you're doing like seven by three or something like that. Not seven if, you're, full if, sets. if you're doing hypertrophy training and you're doing seven sets on something, I think you're not working hard enough, man. I mean, you think if we do, if, even if we include our warm up sets, it's still not seven. We probably do three warm up sets, still not seven. maybe, and two workouts. Yeah. And, and look, look I'm, I'm, I'm in a position to say this because I've tried everything. Don't get me wrong, I've done the whole high volume, high, high sets, high reps. But honestly, done. yeah. You oh, still... you're done on that. Yeah, leave it But on yeah, we'll take it, man. So, my advice to anyone that's like in the gym training. Uh, three, please. Try and like, when you do do a set, try and take that set all the way to the end of your capabilities because if you do that, you won't be able to get more than two. Again, like I say, I've got powerlifting friends, it's very different because sometimes they're working at percentages on their numbers. So they're doing a block, so they might do five sets of three. Uh, but it will never be 100% effort because they're not doing that on purpose. So, yeah, that's just uh, something to say. I don't get annoyed by it because I understand people that are like, unaware but I think if you see someone doing it and you can advise them that's why I do this video sharing my my bit of experience just don't overdo it don't overcook exercises because you're just wasting like, energy and time I'm kind of like because one minute I'm kind of pushing into that but not turning so yeah, then I'm, you keep, you're keeping yourself front straight on yeah then I'm, I'm kind of at a little bit of an angle and there's a little bit of resistance now on my body from turning so you can't turn or turn I'm keeping myself braced okay. Yeah. We'll find out in a I'm going to try and do a muscle round, which is going to be four by four, but I'm going to try and, when I stop, I'm not going to rest, I'm going to keep it under load. So there's going to be a lot of stress on the, the lat. It, it's going to be hard. If I can't get the full muscle round, then it doesn't matter. It's the attempt that matters. So I'll go for four by four, but if it gets to three by four. So it's the same, I'm going to, when I do this, every four, I'm not going to like let off. I'm going to actually let the load stay on. Well, so you're going to hold it. So it's gonna be very tiring. So this machine's like kept moving gradually, isn't it? We are moving it. 
I've noticed it spins. You're going to ruin the Feng Shui. Feng Shui is all out again. Be careful. It's an important aspect. Right. You alright set or do you want? Yeah, I'm fine. I tell you, it's quite hard to wrap on this because the rubber. Get your head in it. Are they on properly, Dan? Sorry, bruv. Yeah. It, it's um, it's yeah. Dan. I'll stand here. Go on. It's going to be fucking hard. I feel it. On. One. Two. Three. Four. Hold it. Five. Four. Three. Two. Give me ten seconds. One. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Yep. Let's go. One, two, three, four, ten, eight, eight, quite hard. seven, looks it, My shot five, high. four, three, two, one, come on Jordan wouldn't struggle. No he wouldn't. It's good though Jake, <coughs> three, come on. Four. Alright, this last four's gonna need a spot the whole way through. That's fine. Oh. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, when you're ready. Yep, yeah. a little bit of help on this one. Good. Come on. One. One. Two. Two. With you, come on, you're doing all of it, I'm only doing a bit. Down, 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 down. Three. three. Last one, come on. You do not stop now. Uh. You do not stop there. Down. Oh, yeah. yeah. I felt it on the first one. I was like... Your first four are all right. Yeah, no, but then I, I knew... When you finished your first four, did you hold it? Or yeah. First yeah, all of them I held it. I thought you put it down. Uh, no, I, I put it down on like the third one, but I still let it stay on the load. So you've got to like, kind of... That's oh embarrassing. My God. I got this one. Oh, yeah. That was embarrassingly hard for me. For you? Yeah. I don't want to sound like a motorbike yeah. starting up. Right, because we did a pull down already. I'm blaming that. Literally just before this. I'm blaming that. I'm done, yeah. And we did eggs yesterday. Just blame everything. I'm just gonna blame it all. And it's raining. We're not pussies. It's raining. <laughs> right. Right. Oh. Come on in. One. Two. Three. Four. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, here we go, ten, nine, eight, hold it, seven, six, So we're five, just putting on a four, lap a little bit, three, we're not like taking the whole load. One. <sighs> That's hard. It'll look like I'm doing four. But it's actually five. I think we'll do a barbell row now. Or a barbell row? Yeah, I think we'll do a barbell row. Probably won't be quite as heavy as normal because normally we put a barbell row after the pull down movement, the, the pull over, sorry. Because I've been prioritizing rows as my heavy movements. But today we've kind of done a different order where we've done a little bit more like kind of lat work first, which is fine. Um, so we'll see how barbell rows go. We'll just do them like, um, do you want to go do them over there? Should we go do them over there? Yeah, we'll do them over there. So is that a rule? Like, when you, is it depending on how you're feeling or once you go three plates, do you strap? Just three plates. So, so, three plates so, strap. So like, squat, four plate, knee wrap. Yes. Or, or sleeve. Uh, Obviously it's relative to one bench, strength. Bench, four plate, elbow wrap. Yeah. Or sleeve. Uh, rows, three plate. Yeah, so there's that's always, yeah, that's just in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously once I squat three plates, you just, it's, it's, I wrap. Yes, yeah, so it's got to be 
it's all to do with the percentage base of what your maximum output is. Yeah. Because obviously, mine's a bit higher, so I can go a little bit longer yeah. without using the addition. Yeah. So, again, I know some of you guys out there like wilder questions. I saw in the comments because they're important. Because not everyone is as smart as you or as advanced as you. So for the people that aren't as advanced and that are trying to learn, this is for you. So everybody else, I appreciate you being here, but be a little bit more polite, yeah? <laughs> Try Cardillo, bruv. Good stuff. Although someone stole my Cardillo in here, and if I find out who it is, you'll give me that belt back and I'm going to post your face in a criminal, like one of those, you know, like the old, old sa yeah, yeah, and I'm going to say known for belt stealing. Belt stealing. Yeah? So if you've got my Redcon Cardillo belt in King's Gym, I will find you. Because I am Liam Neeson. I thought you were going to go full Liam Neeson. <laughs> yeah, I was going to. I legit thought you had to. Listen, I won't even kick off if you just put it nicely back in the gym where the lost property is. We can forget it. But, you know, it's a you custom see, belt. You see someone wearing it. I know the belt very well. It's one of a kind. It's not one of the fucking cheap, nasty ones, all right? Cheeky bastards. I say bastards, it could have been, could have been a lady. Could have been Maddie. Just, just do two, and then, then, you'll know, then you'll know if you want to work with this. Try not to move the body too much. Try and brace and try and use your actual back, yeah? So once you're down there, now try and drive the elbows up. That's better. A lot better. Good. Yeah, Those I'll two. Work, that's work, great. Work. That was better than the last. Looked a bit better. Less hyper extend. That's the thing. When I see people do the movement on this, I'm like, oh, I know how that works. You just got to be, it's, it's hard. Like, mine's probably not even perfect anyway, either. But you just got to be a little bit more, like, rigid in the upper body. It's alright for a little bit of chest lift, but chest lift more so than hip lift. Yeah. Because what happens is a lot of people do this. Because that's what I think I find, obviously, when the weight goes up. Yeah, you want to use a bit of... If I'm bent down, I'm like, that pulling just like that alone it's hard. It's ain't going to do it. Yeah, it's hard. So it's almost like I compensate. <laughs> this is how you know it's off season, because this belt barely fits me. Yeah, that's it It's like, literally, I'm on like the last hole. Crazy. That's like golf to freeze. Huh? It's fine, it's golf. Last Fair hole. Enough. Right, I'm gonna do, I think what we'll do on here, we'll do a, I think we'll do a rest pause set. Oh, so, we'll do, so we'll do, um, basically it's done all that set. We'll put it down, we'll take 20 deep breaths and then we'll try and do a few more reps. On the same weight? Yeah. Okay. Got really nose today. There's no number, bro. Are you just gonna go? Yeah. No number. It's a lot harder rowing later in the workout. Keep breathing. Brace yourself. Come on, you know the way. Down you go. Yes. Oh, come on. Well done, Young James. How old were you there? Uh, 23 or 4. Uh, that was my first shoot ever with Rebecca Andrews. Oh, just a photo shoot? Yeah. She did, because Ricardo just won the British in 2013. And then I just came third in the Supers. And we went to Metroflex and she did a shoot. Oh, nice. And I, she invited me to the shoot. Nice. She reached out. So that's where I met Rebecca. Um, so a long time ago, two, nearly 10 years now, nine years ago. Right, now we're going to do a movement, a row without any. Um, like a lower back engagement to take away. What do you want to do? Um, I think what we'll do, we might do prone, prone rows on a bench or the seal row. See what's free. With dumbbells though, so we're going to be able to drive a little bit more like this oh. rather than up. Let's do the seal row. Two, one. Yeah, so keep them at that angle. That yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, and then push them a little bit in front and then back up. There you go. Three. Perfect. Four. 
five, that's better than mine. Six, I want 12, seven, eight, nine, pull harder, come on. 10, two more. One more. Good, all right. Yeah. Got that one. Ooh. Nice. Down and then out. Yeah. Alright. Yep. Yep. Like that when you're like flat even if you move marginally there's still a lot of contraction going on and obviously like I say you can't cheat you can't lean back so yeah so we're gonna do single arm uh, low cable row I've done a lot of like low low rows in my time and I just feel like this is still the best one it's the most boring looking one and it's the most basic looking one but it just doesn't fail because a lot of the time when you're doing these low rows something doesn't feel right so if you're using a machine and it arcs this way when you pull through you tend to get a lot of trap and then when they pull down a lot sometimes the um, the load drops off a lot at the end too much because obviously most of them are on an arm and, and when the weights are sitting on an arm here and you pull up to there all of a sudden that weight becomes really light this is the best way to get a most like a really consistent load throughout the movement but actually hit that area as well I think so I want your hand to go that's it, yeah. Try and make this a 90 at the end. There you go, there you go. This is like trying to start a lawnmower. Literally. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. If you go too heavy on this movement, you'll start not using the part you want to use. You'll start rotating, you'll start pulling the shoulder back. So it's like... Start doing what I do. <laughs> yeah, you just got to find a weight that's like... You can get the elbow down and back without any other secondary muscles kicking in. It's literally so simple. It's literally just this. Huh? It's fucking basic, man. <laughs> and then our, our last exercise on back will be... This with a, uh, a neutral grip, it just basically hit the whole back. Right, yeah. so for the people that don't know, since I love asking questions, what's with the positions? Um, so these torque arms dictate the strength curve. Um, if you have everything loaded on the middle, your load will remain the same consistently throughout the movement from beginning to end. If you load the top, it'll be heavy in a stretch position and lighter in a, uh, in a fully contracted position. And then obviously the other arm is the opposite. So what we want, we want a good amount of weight throughout the entire load, but we also want some to drop off on the, um, at the contracted point so that it's not too heavy to get a full contraction. That we can squeeze it. Yes, resistance, yes, yes. All right, yep. You in? Yep. Right, come on. If it's heavy, get angry. Boy. Yeah, on. Eight. 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 Oh, 
The session's finished, but back's also done. So, uh, um, yeah, so that's kind of a typical back workout. Uh, did things a little bit differently today, like say leading with like our pull down movements and then following through with the, the kind of rows. You'll notice that there was no like um, hip hinging today. It's because last time we did um, we did hamstring day, we did uh, RDLs on that day. So probably do the same again. Stick to doing that just so that I can hit the back itself more. Um, specifically on actual back day um, and plus because hams doesn't have as many movements in it as as back day by splitting the rdls into that day and doing my lower back then it means that that session gets stretched out a little bit more into a proper session rather than being like a quick pop in and hit hamstrings and go home um, so yeah that was really good i'm happy with that threw a couple of techniques back in today like we were discussing before the video we haven't been doing those so i thought why not do that today um yeah i thought that felt like a bloody coincidence yeah Sometimes you remind yourself and you're like, okay, because I said I want to start stepping things up a little bit. It's good to start throwing in some no, 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 intensifiers. And you could tell the difference with you because it... It bashed me up. It bashed you up a lot yeah, yeah. sooner than normal. Yeah, like the muscle rounds and that really, yeah. really kicked the muscle So, um, yeah, uh, anything to add really, like... So, I suppose the only thing I really wanted to add is been a bit of a funny few months of bodybuilding. We had Boston Lloyd pass away. Um, it's like I'm getting sick of seeing it. And it sometimes gets to a point where when it happens, the immediacy after it happening, you ask yourself, why am I doing it? And, it's, and you take a few days to like consider everything. Um, and sometimes it's hard because you're trying to like, you have to justify your being and why you're doing bodybuilding and am I healthy and all this. And this is obviously why I went to get blood work done with um, Dr. Matt Milner and obviously getting booked in for the uh, calcium score and scan and stuff like that because for these shows coming up, the only way that I really now want to push it and work my ass off is if my body's going to allow it. And I, I, I don't want to risk it, man. It's We're all mortal and the older I've got and the more I've seen people pass around, you know, pass around me, the more I realise that time's like literally very, very limited. And this isn't me trying to be morbid, guys. It's me being like truthful because you've got to consider this. Like if you're walking into bodybuilding and you want to be a top 10 Mr. Olympia or anything like that, I'm not saying you can't do it and look after yourself but what I'm saying is do try to look after yourself don't do it stupidly don't just go I I'm okay and then take everything under the sun and be like I'll be fine I'll be fine because I'm young and healthy because believe me these people thought the same how, how Boston Lloyd was not even I don't think he was even 30 yet so um, I suppose I just want to leave with that like consider everything guys if you're doing this and it's just for likes and whatnot on Instagram and you're pushing your body too far maybe reevaluate. If you genuinely want to be a champion and you love the lifestyle of bodybuilding and you do want to be a good bodybuilder, do it, but do it and make sure you go and get your blood work done, make sure you get your calcium score, make sure you go and get every test you can and look after your body. If I could go back in time, I'd invest more money in my earlier part of my career in looking after my health. Um, you have the information available now that we didn't have. No one did this when I started. So just make sure you're looking after yourself and uh, don't be an idiot. Um, and that's it really, I just want you to look after yourself guys. And like I say, only pursue this if you really want to pursue it. Don't feel pressured. Don't be like, I've got to be the best because everyone else wants me to be. Do shit for you. You know, if you wake up tomorrow and you want to totally change in, in your direction in life, do it. Because you've got one fucking run at this. If I wake up tomorrow, if I wake up tomorrow, honestly, and I say I've had enough and I want to go and do something completely different, I'll fucking do it because, again, life's short, guys. And uh, you've got to make sure you spend it the best way you can, but not, also, not only the best way you can, but with the people you want to spend it with. So make sure you appreciate them as well. All right? And that's it. Enough for me preaching. And uh, obviously, thanks to Dan. Thanks to King's Gym. Obviously. Check us out, kingsgym uh, kingsgyms.com. Um, if you want any merch or anything like that, because I know you guys... I get asked about the hoodies and the new fleeces. So they are sold online. Obviously, Redcom 1. If you want to check them out, links are in my bio on the uh, Instagram. Get 20% off. Tough Wraps, again, thank you so much. They look after me. And uh, I think that's all the thanks. You've got to like, subscribe, share. Follow Fade Films, support Fade Films. 
support me, support him. Yeah, support him. What's All right. Look? I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again, and we'll uh, we'll catch you next time. And uh, let us know what you want to see as well. Comment below, and we'll uh, catch you on the next one.